friction, of course, acts to slow simple harmonic motion. If you push a child in a swing, you really need to keep pushing because the friction at the pivot point causes the swing amplitude to get smaller. Looking at the displacement of a pendulum as friction takes effect, we can see that while the period and the frequency stay the same, the amplitude gradually gets smaller and smaller. This loss of energy because of the friction force is what we call damping. Damping opposes and therefore slows the back and forth motion. If a large amount of damping occurs, then the system doesn't even oscillate, it just moves toward equilibrium. There are really three different classes of damping what we look at. Underdamped means that the little bit of energy being taken out at a time. The purple line following the change in amplitude is called the envelope. This envelope gets smaller and smaller as time goes on. So an underdamped system will return to equilibrium, but oscillates around the equilibrium point as it does. Think about the shocks in your car. If the shocks go out, then when you hit a bump, your car just keeps bouncing. In an overdamped system, there is no complete oscillation. Imagine that you have too much friction and the pendulum simply cannot get back to its starting point. So instead of following the blue displacement curve, the pendulum takes a really long time to completely return. An overdamped just slowly moves toward equilibrium. This would be like not even having shocks in your car. You hit the bump and there is no absorption. It rattles your teeth. Critically damped has lost all its energy before the first oscillation even finishes. Really, we can't even say that it has, it has oscillated. So instead of following the blue displacement curve, the pendulum never quite reaches back. This is actually the fastest way for a pendulum to return to equilibrium. This is often used in a system where we want to get back to equilibrium quickly without any extra oscillation. And actually, this is the situation we want with our car shocks. The energy absorbed from the bump in the road gets transferred out of our system very quickly, and you go on your way.